Hello everybody, welcome to game 12 of Undead Overexplained up against Le Peg, who is a World Cup competitor. You qualified for the World, World Championship, isn't he? It's got Goblins 40 TV down, so he doesn't get a bribe, doesn't get bomber, dribble snot. So, rather happy about that. Um, what does he have? Block Troll. Block Pogor, is that? What the hell? Dead. Receive. Always receive. It's got a sneaky git. Dirty player. Ooligan. What's this? Oh, that's a... Pass bomber. A rookie fanatic. I guess this is a random. Jump up. A tackle. I mean, he must have had like a must be a random tackle, right? I wouldn't even bother with that to be honest. And what do I have? Sneaky get dirty player. Lodgers. Plot guards. Oh yeah, all my whites just died constantly. I remember now. Fun times. Fun times, dead whites. Not a lot you can do about that. A little big chi chi. Sure, heads a humbug. Sure hands, armbar tackle, right? <laughs> well, it's Goblin, so it should be an easy win. Um... <laughs> I have no respect for goblins. Sorry, goblins. Absolutely zero respect. Um, you know, you've got to watch out for the bomber. You've got to watch out for the saw. You've got to watch out for the sneaky git. You've got to watch out for the fanatic. So, like, you know, they've got things. They've got things that can do things. They're all soft. They're all soft, and you should be able to bang them out, shouldn't you? Basically, So he's benching this fanatic. What I could do here is if I uh, remove enough players and stuff, he might have, have to just put his fanatic on for a turn and not get to field him at all. That would be nice. Oh, I've only got 11 players. Oh, so that's a bit more risky. This is a bit worse than it normally would be, A, eh, because of that. This like protects a bit against a blitz. And then one front, one back. But yeah, this is this is probably the like a pretty standard setup, right? Right? Like five guys so you can diagonally block. And then I quite and this is my favourite place to put these guys in because if they blitz either of these they still can't get through this easily. And you're not so close to the sideline that they can pin you at the sideline or anything. And then, yeah, this guy in case of a short kick, this guy instead of a deep kick. I'd say this is like my standard setup on, a, on offense. Are you here, Ali Raider?
You are on time, then, I do. I am here. Uh, a little bit risky from him here, right? Exposing the uh, trolls. Catch the ball in the rain, lovely jubbly. Could 3D him and then block him. Uh, blitzing this guy and then fouling with Sneaky gets really tempting. As much as I'd like to. As much as I'd really like to. Oh no, but then this guy stops that, not unless I chain him back. I could chain him back. Start with this 3D. Lovely pals. I'll get away from the troll, which is good, isn't it? And the cars. Lovely. Smash him with block. Stun's all right. Not terrible. Bosh! That was nice. I wanted three Ds and uh, Fowler's Troll. Not bad. But the problem is we could pro probably could have set up a hit on the bomber, honestly. And uh, it was sad not to hit it, set up a hit on the bomber. But, um, you know, it hasn't got Mighty Blow, at least. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this guy, yeah. Thanks, Pedro, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't great, was it? I have left him down in case something happens. Yes, yeah, that was intentional. Oh, now I get to punch his saw. Brilliant. I might have completely forgotten about that guy. And if he uh, bombs, then his bomber gets hit as well. So he's in a, he's very much in a bit of a pickle here. The pickle he is in is substantial. A substantial pickling. Wildly inaccurate, let's go. Oh, wildly inaccurate! It's gone this way. Well, 
let's go him because he's in the tackle zone of more of his players. <laughs> Brilliant. Wildly inaccurate. His bomb's wildly inaccurate and his soul failed to do anything. This is a fantastic start. So by putting this guy in there, that cancelled this assist, and also I get to push the uh, I get to push the saw onto him, so he's not threatening my good players if I don't kill him. Which I do. Um, the temptation here is to for this guy to three dice blitz him, and then he blocks the troll. But really, the bomb is a real, real pain, isn't it? So the easier, the the kind of safer thing to do is to two D him. And then he blitzes, but I need a power to get the 2D, so I might have to do this 3D blitz. And then I'm still basing him. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So unfortunately, I have to take the push to get the 2D. That was actually wrong, I should have pushed him here, I just I just completely brain farted. And um, if he's here he can't get an assist, whereas here I can you can put a player in and get an assist. That was completely I don't know what I was thinking there. I'll be honest, I don't know what I was I guess I wasn't thinking. Don't need this safety anymore, he can come up. His uh, his goblins, right? Because they're rubbish. <laughs> uh, that's the uh, long and short of it. Is and now his his bombers double based, right? So his bombers less effective double based anyway. Good chance of a wildly inaccurate. So yeah, this this was this was poor from me pushing him there. It was just wrong square completely. I thought I wanted him base my more players, but I was completely incorrect. Oh, dub skulls. He launches it into a not dead. Oh, and then he clears one tackle zone from the bomber. Yeah, that was real bad of me. I really should have pushed him to there. Then you can't get an assist. That's like you want people on your diagonal, right? So it's hard for them to get assists. I just, I just don't know why I didn't push him to the right square. Was a bit lucky that he made the loner, but you know, very unlucky that he dub scold with block, wasn't it? That was outrageously unlucky uh, to dub scold with a block guy. No, he's accurate. Well, shit. Huh? Mm. Oh no. He cast my best mummy. Well, that's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Let's 
That's a bit unlucky. I'll re-roll this, in case if it fails. Now I guess this guy goes in with a negative assist, but... Uh, well, he can't bomb anyone next turn, can he? So I actually don't need to. He can't actually bomb anybody next turn. So I actually don't need to foul him. So with that in mind, he could have been the back of the cage and then the blocker could have sat, could have uh, faced him. Mm. Oh god, I'm an idiot, thank you. Yeah. I'm in alright, I'll finish my turn. Ah, oh, I like I wanna foul this guy, right? But there's no need to foul him this turn. But on the other hand, you know, fouling him is good and fun. Okay, pow him first. Kaz, good. This is probably a bit stupid, doing this foul. Good. <laughs> well... Not terrible. It really sucks that this guy's been badly hurt, but apart from that, it's looking all right, isn't it? Three cars, and uh, this guy's gone, so he'll have to be fielded, and he'll be gone as well. So yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty good. This ladder logo isn't great. I'll use the. Uh, I'll use the. No, no offense to Christopher Banks, and obviously he made a good logo. But the thing is, it looks very similar to the World Cup logo. And seeing as I'll be using the World Cup logo soon for the uh, official World Cup casts, I should probably use the season logo in future. There we go. That's season six. Yeah, he gets to hit it with tackle, right? That was the problem. He got these two assists and he got hit with tackle. But... Oh, and he gets to foul with two assists. Oh, dear. So, yeah, this was the problem with his foul. <laughs> and he gets to blitz and stand him up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So yeah, I guess I shouldn't have made that foul, but it worked out alright, so I'm not dead. <laughs> Three, four, so two more players in to assist there. Really can need him in here. So we'll put them in here so that the push strands him on a zombie. Which is obviously fine. I 
I can even not follow, right? Because he's still stranded on the zombies. That's, that's perfect. And I guess he occupies a zombie there. Like, uphilling is okay. Because it stops the mighty bow. And a uh, decent chance to put us both on the ground. Or at least knock him away and not get hit by mighty bow. Now, the problem is I am leaving this uh, guy very much open to a foul, aren't I? But he doesn't have sneaky get a dirty player, so... He probably shouldn't foul now, but he probably will, because, you know, his only chance is to get lucky. At this point. Like, it's not great EV for winning the game, right? Probably, so the thing is, this, like, using this guy just to foul him isn't fantastic, but... He doesn't really have anything else, is the point. So the, this guy is getting fouled. So it was negative EV for him, probably all on average. But um, the fact that it's like, it's so good if it works and he needs something really good to happen. So he's kind of got to do the wrong thing, if that makes sense. So that's completely reasonable. I could have pushed him down, but I just want to push him, punch him with him, to be honest. I could have pushed out the, the sneaky get again, but I just want to, I just want to punch things. Max blocks is the way. I could move the ball first, be completely safe. And I probably should think about where the ball's going, shouldn't I? But I, I just don't want to, to be honest. I mean, this guy can stand up. This guy's definitely standing up. That means this guy can blitz from here as well, right? Because he's still got the... Uh... Now he's basing him. As a bonus. I can make this cage up here. Well, I don't even need to make a cage, do I? I can make a... Uh... I can make an, an eye cage. Give his troll a zombie to hit. And I can throw in a reroll to get this guy out and see. He can't he can't blitz my mummy with one of his trolls. That's the main objective now is to not get unlucky. After already getting unlucky with the uh mummy cas no regen. But obviously got lucky with all of this. The wrong air. Uh, he just caught it, didn't he? The wrong one. I could go for a handoff, I guess, to the white. This one. I probably should have done that earlier. It's in the rain. I can't try anymore now, I guess. If I had three re-rolls, I guess I could have tried three times. But now I guess I've just got to... Uh, Wait for the second half to skill this way. Hopefully he can get a Kaz and then this one can get a touchdown. Brutal push. People try to tackle him. Okay, this guy's gonna block to get away from the troll. 
most important. And I can put this guy in to make this a 3D. 3Ds are good. Never lucky. Punch him. Never lucky. Don't follow so that the. Uh, I, I'm giving him the assist on the troll, but I, yeah, I don't really care about the troll now, right? I want to blitz it. I want to blitz the block one. I could blitz this guy, but what's the point? He's not gonna. He's not gonna uphill double power me. <laughs> well, he might, mightn't he? He might uphill double power me. Too late. I already moved the ball now. I'll move that there anyway so you can't get an assist, so it's got a dodge in at least. Hmm, I guess he can 2D him and then blitz to the troll or something. I don't know, there's maybe a hit on the ball here. I've been a bit lazy and like, you know, not caring, I'll be honest with you, there you go. I mean that's part I'm <laughs> I'm falling into the routine of just playing, you know, when it gains like five goblins and not caring, right? Well, was it six goblins? That's very bad, isn't it? That's something people always tend to do when they're completely dominating a match is to just zone out and not try as hard. Obviously, I shouldn't have done that, um, but you know, with doing try, with the title of the video, I should be trying to trying to think and uh, see what I'm thinking each time. It's not easy, though. I'll be honest; it's not easy. This tackle up in the ball is a little bit dodgy, right? It's a bit dodgy. It's the only way. Oh, and I guess you can throw a goblin at the ball as well. Oh, that's good. It's got a minus two to land. <laughs> Fantastic. That's not a turnover. Okay, we're both waiting for it to be a turnover and it isn't. I just want to keep hitting his troll, right? Because he's got block and mighty blow. I don't want him to hit my zombie, even though the zombie's rubbish. Right, so now we can go here. The stall square, three in from either direction, so you can't get knocked. I mean, I've got sidestep, actually. So with sidestep, I could... Uh, I don't have to stand there, but I'm going to stand here anyway because it's the you know, allegedly correct square. Um, I guess it's not a turnover unless you knock somebody else over. I don't. I, I'll be honest. I don't really know how. Throw teammate works. Throw teammate works. Let's, let's get these guys based a bit. Yeah, I just bit him. And walk away from him to rescue <laughs> rescue the threat on the mummy. Oh, is this the centre thing for the season? I guess it is, right? I guess that's the competition is. Never noticed that until now. Until and just because by changing the logo on the screen, I just realised. Does that have? Oh, I know because it's not custom, is it? 
It would be good if you can make that custom so I'd like Blood Bowl Super League, wouldn't it? That would be pretty good. That's not a bad turn, is it? This is all pretty loose, like, you know, makes the throw a little bit worse. And, uh, you know, there's lots of tackle zones for lots of dodges, for stunty dodges. And uh, these guys, they do have, like, an easy 3 plus out, the same, the same way. Which is a bit shame, like, would have been nice to have another player here, but didn't. Oh, stupid. Stupid troll. No, he's running his troll away. <laughs> <laughs> He's running his troll away from my movie. Brilliant. Oh, he went for the uphill with tackle. Fair enough. That does mean we're going to make this 3D with block. Three D without block. Let's go. Scoring on a dead ghoul isn't great. But there you go. Got to score in the middle, I think. I think it's not really. It doesn't count as a touchdown dance if you're just scoring in the middle. He does get to argue the call, doesn't he? And he does re-roll ones. But he failed both argues. Doesn't have a bribe. So. Not bad. Maybe one up on here? <laughs> I don't know where, like, you know, it's most likely... Like, you want it to land in his tackle zone and make the landing harder, but then also you want to make them dodge and not just go through without having to dodge. It's tough. I really don't know where the right squares are for one turn touchdown defence. I guess you could you could work it out, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's got nine for the second half, probably. He might argue the call, but he's probably got nine for the second half. After all that, only be one man up is sad, and plus might not be because he might make removals here. Really sucks only having 11 players. I hate only having 11 players. When you've got 40k reserves, and like, you know, they're only armoured 9 plus zombies, even though they've got regen. It's like very easy to lose the odd player on Undead.
it's obviously just the middle. Never kick anywhere else. Changing weather makes his one turn easier. Wonderful. Just in range, isn't he? Move seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI. Actually, he wants to hand off to this one, so then this one can block, right? So he wants to go over here, hand off, blitz, blitz this guy with a rookie. Or a rookie. E3 days with block. Hand off to him, lob him. But he can't go straight ahead, right? So that's good. What do you go? He'll move here. So you don't have to like aim it here or something. I don't know why that one's over there. That's absolutely incorrect this, isn't it? Oh, so I guess... No, you've, you've got to declare the pass. So the correct play in Blood Bowl 2 <laughs> would have been to block this one and stuff. Blitz this one, block that one, and then you hand off to this guy. And then if this one moves, he goes there and throws it. But if this one boneheads, then this one would come over for and then throw it. But you can't do that anymore in Blood Bowl 3. So it was just, it was just absolutely correct to uh, blitz this zombie and block with block. Because then you've got Mighty Blow. I mean, maybe he was going to vomit, right? But still... I still think the 3D with block is just better. Of course, everything works. Fantastic. You can't actually step forward because this guy isn't down, is he? So that's good. So that saves us a square. And then this guy is right in the path of where he's going to aim. It's not far enough, is it? Cast 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, he wasn't in range anyway. So that was quite good anyway, it was a quite a good one turn defence in the end, isn't it? Does he argue the call? He does not. He does get his KO back though. Nine versus ten. And most of his are rookie goblins. Rookies. Uh, you don't you don't get zombies unfortunately in this because uh the uh goblins have stunty and the trolls are strength five, so no uh no zombie raising. And uh, yes, I will be in the Nacon Studios with Dave Balls this year. Yep, 6th, 7th and 8th of December are the top 8. will get played. I imagine there's going to be two quarters on at the same time. So like, only half of the quarters will get covered. Because like, you know, can't. it's a lot of games, right? It's like, there's only enough time in a day to do 4 or 6 Blood Bowl games, I guess. So, Friday is like the quarters. Saturday is the semis, so I guess they'll be consecutively resolved. And then the Sunday will be the uh, the little final and the big final. Alright, definitely just gonna just gonna man's everyone. Mate. I've gotta click them first.
Could I like, put him here, right? Then it's not so easy for him to hit me on 2D. But I really don't want to risk my money. Hey, stupid. I should have faced with a, with a mummy as well. Pretty good then. I mean, he's pretty desperate now, isn't he? As, as much as I'm unhappy to only be one man up, because I'm down the mummy, which is really, really sad. And, uh, obviously, he can remove loads of his players, and all of his secret weapons are gone, and he is very much in a bit of a pickle. This no reason. It's probably definitely wrong, right? <laughs> that was probably definitely wrong to open like that. Should have put him in there. And like you know, maybe he's done some safe moves. The thing is, by doing that first, he gets to go in there, doesn't he? Or maybe even GFI to base the ball. But I feel like basing the ball isn't isn't great. Yeah, all these all these moves I could have done first. He's gonna call back in case of a throw teammate that um, works. Okay, definitely have to reroll that. Annoying. him away from the troll. Attempt to isolate it. And uh have to base the ah. basing him or the troll's fine, right? Because he's got a hand off to one he, he can't actually can't actually throw the uh the pogo it doesn't have right stuff. So the only way he's realistically scoring is by throw teammate. Um so I want as many tackle zones on those guys as possible. I don't want his troll to blitz my cool is the problem, isn't it? So let's keep zombies on trolls. Maybe this guy should have gone forward. Maybe I was a bit too defensive there. 
keeping both ghouls back. If this one had been here, he's got a little bit more pressure in the backfield, right? Like now he can just take his blocks and maybe he's run back for a turn. No, he's running forward. Well, this might end badly for him now, I think. He does get a 3D, this uh, Google Lord, doesn't he? Which is pretty good. You go out and screen it. If he makes dodges, he gets a... Uh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle? <laughs> Sorry, Jackpo. Oh no, it's a three plus. The loan is a three plus because he's a because he's a train troll. Oh my god, it's a three plus loan. I tell you what, Jackpo, you you were unlucky. You could have you could have got Miss Rogue Merc and won. You could have you would have won versus Miss Rogue Merc. 74 to 77 with a, with a with a with a player left right there's still technically a chance for you isn't there but uh it's what what's weird about my team is every week i'm getting predicted like mega scores and then just not getting them except maybe this week i did Thanks, Dimmy. It actually is interesting. He's broken away a little bit here. I can only hit him without tackle. Which isn't great, is it? And also it leaves me based on a troll or just getting instantly served. It's tricky. I could dodge double GFI to hit with block, but then, I mean, he's got block anyway, so that doesn't really do a whole lot. Of good for me. I mean, this guy's standing up first. Safe moves first. Get him up. Distract troll. Good. He could push him into him and then block him again, but then might need this guy around to do something. There's an argument for just blitzing the front guy and like getting in the way and stuff and making it difficult for him. Strong argument for that. Or for blitzing the troll. Just keep this guy back as a safety. Yeah, let, let's be super conservative because goblins suck let's move him back that was the completely the wrong square <laughs> I needed an assist <laughs> oh my goodness This is the worst turn maybe ever. Oh god. So I'm just getting instantly 2D'd and he can just dodge everything away. That was not good. This this extra guy, if I'd waited with him, I could have moved him in here as well, which would have made in there. Yeah, I could have moved him in there, which would have been way better. Oh, that was a big mistake moving him in there. I just wanted to like contact as many people as possible. But obviously that wasn't good. 
But still, he can't score this turn. Uh, very unlikely to score this turn. And I've got a block guy back, so it's not too bad, is it? You are Jackal. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I know, Keith. It, 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 it was that way once upon a time. Once upon a time, I was alright. But yeah, that was bad. It was just so bad. Not him going in there was... Uh, like, I thought I needed him in there as a assist, but I didn't see it as well. I should have said it as well. I mean, he's still in a pickle. I mean, I explained why I didn't want two dice on the ball. Um, because it wasn't good. <laughs> but what I could have done was I could have put him in a worse spot by just rolling pushes. It was a long time ago, yeah, just a couple of months ago, Dimmy, in fact, when I won the Bull Super League. True. True. Beating the Titans, the Russian Titans, uh, Diomed and Christopher, to win Super League. That doesn't count, does it? No, okay. Okay. Oh, he failed his dodge. Well, there we go. I mean, it, this was the problem that he had, right? Is that there's lots of... Uh, he needed lots of things to go right. No, I definitely just blitz him without block, right? Stand. Stand. Oh, I don't just block him without block. He's based. Block him first. This gives us the follow up hits. Go back here to block any breakaway potential breakaways. 3D. Full pow. Follow, keep him based up. Mummy ball, love to see it. Good. Bring him up. How many turns? Plenty of turns left. All right, Mummy touchdown, hopefully. Problem is the troll can uh, wander him, can't he? This guy should have gone here to stop the troll one ding him. God damn it, he's just gonna one D me. To be fair, Keith, I won three, lost two the season after. It wasn't it wasn't terrible winning three losing two. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, I knew it just knocked me straight over. Oh damn it. Wait. Oh he wasn't the block one, the block was the pogoer. <laughs> The block was the pogoer. Flip me. Um. Okay, let's block this guy.
I'm trying to be clever here, which is stupid. Don't be clever. Stand up, zombie. Punch. Do you hear? Good, he should have stood up. He should have stood up like ten years ago. It's a good point, Steve. Right, four turns. One, two, three, four. One GFI required. the GFI that I've got to make eventually anyway. Fits him to try and get me the 6 SPPs. I guess I want to foul the trolley. Never lucky. Close one. Hello, and we. Nearly got me. <laughs> you fucking nearly got me. You can't die. Never lucky.
<laughs> oh no, the goblin. That's good, this gives me another chance at the uh, Kaz SPP with this white. Good, he's stunned. Don't care. Ah, I guess I can surround him, eh? So he can only uphill. That makes sense. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, vomit! Oh, only on a 4 plus, but yeah, I didn't think of that. Well done, Keith. Clever Keith. Well, this is the thing, right? You know, if you get an easy game that you've dominated, then get a touchdown on a mummy is uh, definitely the way forward. SPPs are good. Does vomit on the go. Keat is clever. Jim is stupid. Touchdown dance from a zombie is acceptable. What an absolutely lacklustre touchdown celebration. Do you remember the Blood Bowl 2? When you used to score and like, the, you know, there was like a touchdown dance. It was great, wasn't it? And now it's just not done. Spike it. And they were great, yeah. It's so weird, some of the things about Blood Bowl 3, man. Anyway, uh, there we go. That was that was nice getting the uh, getting three on a mummy. This white didn't get his level. This guy got a lot of SPPs. It means PA bust. It's not too and not it's it's somewhat annoying, right? He's not perfect, so it's a little bit annoying that he's got the PA bust. All right, so we've got the ghoul. We've got back to twelve players. Is this 12 SPP to level? No, it's 14. Okay, so still don't have it. Another touchdown, and he'll be good. Can't level either of these two. Um, what does he want after Lodge step? I guess just plus AV is all he really wants now. Or to be replaced. So now I just want to cycle this ghoul, try to get a cheap block or wrestle or dirty player or whatever on him. This one just wants AV. This one wants movement and stuff, this guy. Um, and obviously these two want guard or mighty blow or something. This guy wants block. So yeah, that's all fine. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.